Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Wow, where did this past year go? I have no idea. What I do know is that I had the opportunity to meet so many amazing, talented, wonderful people this past year. And for that, I am eternally grateful. People that have mentored me, guided me, become my crazy friends, had a listening ear, were always so supportive and helpful. The folks that you're seeing here are just a few that truly impacted me and my journey this past year. And the words thank you just don't seem enough, but that's what I've got. So thank you guys for helping, providing support, and just being there. I appreciate you so much. And most of all, to our Jelly Beans and the Acrylic Crazy Train Group on Facebook. Man, we love you guys. So I wanted to usher in the new year with something bright, cheerful, and colorful. I'm going to be doing a double open cup today and I'm using a red base coat. I thought, you know what? Black and white's getting kind of boring. Let's go for some color. So that is what I'm going to be doing and let's see how it turns out. You may have noticed that I have been playing with open cups for a while now. I really do like this technique. It's really versatile. And we may actually be playing with this technique in my class at the Fluid Art Experience in Seattle in April.
Now you guys know I love to tilt and one of the reasons I do a lot of tilting before I actually go over the sides is I want to get an idea of what my cells are going to look like, what my composition is looking like, and that changes as you stretch it out. So that is why I go generally to each corner um, trying to stretch it out as much as I can to see what I've got to work with. And you'll notice here in just a bit that area at the top left corner is kind of meh. Uh, so I'm gonna decide to tilt that off and we'll just be left with cells on that side. But taking your time and really thinking it through before you go tilting willy-nilly um, will generally help you get a better composition. If you look down at that bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that I actually didn't tilt the paint all the way over that edge. So I just took some of my base coat and poured it over the edges and sides to make sure they were covered. I am super stoked at the dried results of this piece. The colors stayed so true. They blended beautifully. And it's just a, a bright, cheery, happy piece. And that's how I wanted to start off 2023. And that is what I wish for all of you. A prosperous, successful, happy, happy 2023. Thank you guys for joining us for Perspectives in Pouring today. I hope you enjoyed the show. 
please stay tuned for a little thumbnail of a collaboration we have coming up this Tuesday with Cause Creations and Yen C Art. I hope to see you there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.